Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can we repeat it? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. Now, to begin, we will start with a prayer. Now, can I see your prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Jesus is the best! So let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! It's time to worship the Lord today. So why don't we all stand up? Yeah. to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Amen, Amen kids? Yes, so let's get into the worship him some more. Woo! Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Soul with all my mind, and with all my 
with everything that we are. We love you so much, Lord, because you first loved us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Peace I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help Pastor remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, Eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to John chapter 6, verses 5 to 12. Now kids, can you get your Bibles please? And let's open it to John chapter 6, verses 5 to 12. And let's read. Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about 5,000 in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, gather up the leftover fragments that nothing may be lost. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? So we have seen Jesus doing a very, very great miracle. He fed the 5,000 people who are following him and listening to his teachings. Now, Jesus' miracle happened because a young boy was willing to share his five loaves and two fish. And it's a very little gesture that went a very long way. Now, kids, would you want to meet the boy who shared his food to Jesus and the disciples? Yes, come on, let's practice our counting skills and let's count his five loaves of bread and two fish. Are you ready? Hi! So let's count. How many fish? One. Two. Now, let's count the bread. One. Two, three, four, and five. Great counting, kids. Always remember that even if you are young, you can do great things for Jesus, just like the little boy in our story. Yes, kids, you can do good and great things with whatever you have in your hands. Now, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, I can do good and great things with my hands. Now, can we do it again? I can do good and great things with my hands. Now, can we do it the last time? Let's say, I can do good and great things with my hands. Yes, kids, indeed, you can do good and great things with your hands. So now, it's our question and answer time. So I know you know what to get, right? You need to get your notebooks and, of course, your pens. 
And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can always give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready, kids? Great! Now let's go to our question number one. Who was the man who did a miracle by feeding the 5,000 people? Who was the man who did a miracle by feeding the 5,000 people? You got that, kids? Great! Now let's go to our question number two. How many loaves and how many fish did the boy share? How many loaves and how many fish did the boy share? You got that, kids? Great job. Now let's go to our question number three. True or false? I can do good and great things with my hands. True or false? I can do good and great things with my hands. You got that, kids? Awesome! And now, of course, let's go to our question number four, which is always our application for today. Kids, can you look at your hands right now? Come on, look at your hands. And can you think of what good or great things that you can do for today? Remember, kids, you can always do good and great things with your hands. So I think that's it for our Bible story today, and I hope you learn a lot. I'll see you again next time, kids! Hi, kids! This is Pastor Bad, and welcome to Incredible Facts segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three incredible facts from our today's Bible story. So, here's incredible fact number one. Jesus was followed by a large crowd. A lot of people knew about the miracles that Jesus did that time, and so a large crowd followed him. There were about 5,000 men, and added to that were women and children. Wow! Such a great crowd followed him because they saw and they believed in the healing power of Jesus. From then till now, people go where Jesus is because they believe that Jesus is our healer. Jesus was followed by a large crowd. That's incredible fact number one. Here's incredible fact number two. Jesus already had a plan. When Jesus asked Philip, where they can get food for the people, he was only looking to see how Philip would answer. Jesus already knew what to do. Jesus had a plan already, and that plan is not only for himself, but for the people who followed him and believed in him. Jesus has a plan for you too, kids. So do not worry, because Jesus knows what to do. And whatever Jesus does, it is always for our own good. Jesus already had a plan. That's incredible fact number two. Here's incredible fact number three. Jesus' miracles led people to believe. The people whom Jesus fed were so amazed. There were only five barley loaves and two fish, yet Jesus was able to feed 5,000, and there were 12 basketfuls of leftover food. Seeing this amazing miracle, the people knew and believed that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus' miracles lead people to know who He is and to believe that He is the Son of God, our Savior, our Provider, our Healer, and so much more. Jesus' miracles led people to believe. That's incredible fact number three. So, those are the three incredible facts that we have from our Bible story for today. First, Jesus was followed by a large crowd. Second, Jesus already had a plan. And third, Jesus' miracles led people to believe. So, I guess that's it for now for our incredible facts segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! This is me again, Pastora Jai, and this is our sing-along segment. So 
for today, we are going to sing a song about the God of creation. Now, are you ready to sing a song with me? That's right. The song is very easy. So come and follow the lyrics below and let's have fun singing the song together. The God of creation created us all, created the land and seas. The giver of life, the source of our strength. The God of creation is our everything. The God of creation is worthy of our praise, worthy of our praise and thanksgiving. Worthy of our adoration. Worthy of songs we can sing. The God of creation created us all, creator of land and seas. The giver of life, the source of our strength. The God of creation is our everything. The God of creation is worthy of our praise, worthy of our praise and thanksgiving. Worthy of our adoration, worthy of songs we can sing. So that's it for our song for today about the song of our God, the Creator. So we'll see you again. God bless! And 
anyone who does not love does not know God. Because God is love. First John 4 verse 8 Anyone who does not love does not know God. Because God is love. First John 4 verse 8 Great job, kids! You were awesome! Yay! Let us see more of your artworks, memory verses, and Bible challenge videos. You can send your videos and artworks to any of our kids' pastors so we may show them here in our WhatsApp segment. You can also post it on Facebook with hashtag EverydayJesus and hashtag Arts and Crafts. Just remember to set the privacy of the post to public so we may see it. And that's it for our What's Up segment. See you! Hi kids! I'm Ati Casey. Today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled A Heart Like That. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three! Very good! We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics, You found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful, God I want a heart like that. Ready? Yes! Five, six, seven, You found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful, God I want a heart like that. One more time. Five, six, seven. You found David's heart loyal. Abraham's faithful. God, I want a heart like that. The same steps goes with the lyrics. Strong and discerning. Contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. Ready? Yes! Five, six, seven, and strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, strong and discerning, contrite and yearning. God, I want a heart like that. Let's do it from the top. Five, six, seven, you found David's heart loyal, Abraham's faithful, God, I want a heart like that. Strong and discerning, contrite and yearning, God, I want a heart like that. Now, let's do it with music. Enjoy that, kids! And you did a great job! Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids, this is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes! Our verse for today is from Hebrews 13, verse 16. Repeat after me. Say Hebrews 13, verse 16. Very good. 
Now the song goes something like this. Forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices, sacrifices that please God. Don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices. Sacrifices that please God Don't forget to do good And to share with those in need These are the sacrifices Sacrifices that please God Don't forget to do good And to share with those in need these are the sacrifices Sacrifices that please God Very good kids! Did you enjoy that song? Yes! Yeah. I did too! Well that's it for Memory Verse song today This is Pastora Armira See you again next time! Welcome back kids! So I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed from our episode today so right now, it's our prayer time. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? Yes! First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike, that God will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids, what do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, as for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. You will always be productive and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray, kids? Yes! Great! Let's have our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day and from all of the things that we have learned. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, we also pray for our families, that you will always keep them safe and that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now, we pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously give them the desire to read their Bibles every day, to pray and to worship, and that they will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of God. Lord, we also pray that you make them productive in everything that they do, and that they will always become a blessing to the people around them. We love you so much, Lord, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So I think that's it, kids, for our Everyday Jesus today, and we'll see you again next time.